thing we have to do is literally take all of my clothes that I own from all of my closets, all of my drawers, and put them on my bed. I don't know if you have enough room on the bed. Listen, that's what Marie Kondo says to do, and I'm actually gonna follow the method. So. <laughs> posing like this because Irene said I look good. <laughs> if I suck in real hard and bend backwards, I look good. Welcome back, guys. I hope that you're enjoying this little series of organization and tidying up that I've been doing. After my last couple videos, the Magic Eraser one and the vacuum one, people said you should check out Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Is it Kondo? Yeah. Yeah, right? And the Con Marie method. So I binged it last night and I was like, oh, shit. okay, I'm gonna do this. I was thinking about my hoarding room last year and why everything must have gotten so messy. Am I gonna do this all the time? I'm just gonna clean hoarding rooms and then it's just gonna get filled again. And I realized the reason it got filled again is because there's so much stuff everywhere else that when I don't have anywhere to put it, I throw it in the spare room. So I'm gonna try to follow Marie Kondo's Con Marie method. She has like steps and orders in which you should be organizing everything. And she says it's really important to start with clothes. So that is the last thing I would have done. I was saving my clothes organization for last and we're gonna do it first, which is gonna be the most daunting, I feel like, right? I mean, I'd say so. <laughs> This is just the stuff that doesn't fit in my closet anymore. I was packing for Australia, so I pulled a bunch of stuff out to pack for Australia, and this has been here since I unpacked from Australia. My closet's so full. Dude. How, wait, how long ago is Australia? Or not Australia, I'm sorry, London. It wasn't that long ago. But this is just so full. I like a lot of it, but I don't wear the majority of it. Sure. And there's a whole extra drawer down here of just t-shirts, dude. Do you, are you like I a big so shopper? Shirts. Like what's the No, team? I hate shopping, I never shop. My problem is I never let go of stuff and there's a few reasons and we'll probably explore them as we go through i think the habit probably just started from necessity i always held on to everything when i was younger i talk about this all the time i didn't really have any money so we couldn't throw it away because we couldn't replace it so yeah sad i did do one big sweep already before but i have stuff in here from like college and then i was actually watching tidying up last night and there was this one woman who kept all of her clothes because she was in the same mindset of i might need it like i don't want to just go out and buy it every time i need it and then later she came to the conclusion of why am i holding on to this seven dollar shirt that doesn't even look that great on me i don't need this so i'm really excited for this process but i feel like it is going to be difficult for me also because you know how i feel about my grandma's clothes oh, and like sure. my great aunt's clothes and all my vintage clothing so when i think about my kids, grandkids, my like nieces. I love to imagine them going through my closet and getting all the shit that I was wearing in college. Cause yeah. like this right now, brand new sweater, great sweater, whatever. Oh, cute. <laughs> but imagine how tight this is gonna be in 40 years. This is gonna be a really cool vintage sweater. Yeah. So it makes me sad to throw stuff away even though I'm over it because my, my grandkids might like it. And I wanna have that bonding moment with my kids and grandkids and nieces where they can just come and look through my fashion and pick clothes and I always feel really close to my family when I wear their clothes. This isn't one of them. <laughs> Every time I have a big day or I'm shopping for houses or I have a meeting, I wear my great grandma's clothes because it makes me feel too. comfortable. So I don't want to like rob my kids of that. But also, here's a big problem with living in LA. I have such a massive sweater collection. Oh, because you're a little Pennsylvania baby. I love all my sweaters. Well, a lot of these are brand new. Oh. I just love sweaters, sweaters so are good. much. In LA, you don't get a lot of opportunities to wear sweaters. So when I do get to wear sweaters, I wear them maybe once and then hold on to them for a year until it's somewhat cold here a little bit again <laughs> when I can wear it. I need to figure out how to downsize my sweaters or store them better. Wow, I actually can't believe I just did that so that efficiently. That was sick as hell. That was amazing. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, that shirt has bad memories. Ooh, what happened? Can't talk about it. Bad juju though. This is a part of the video where I feel like a piece of shit because I'm not doing anything here. Wait, oh, we're really trapped. Wow, I'm already really regretting this actually. Yeah, honestly, I would too. <laughs> Still has tags. Bro, I forgot I had these. See, this is part of it. You start finding stuff that I could have been wearing those velvet dresses. Where? I don't know, but I could have maybe at one point. I think I got over the emotional attachment part of things though. When I did my last hoarding room video. <sighs> Holy crap. Have That's you sick. ever seen me wear any of this No. What do I wear every day? Jeans and a black t-shirt. I should move these now that I'm done pretending I make my bed, right? Yeah. Wait, this is a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Do you have this much Wait, how did I accumulate so much stuff? Like, why do I have so much stuff? These are just empty boxes. Silly. That's just called silliness. I don't know how to handle this situation. This is a drawer of, don't know actually. Pajamas, maybe? Wow, okay, see, this is one of those moments. These shorts, 
I'll let her wear these. But these are from my dance team from high school. And they got a little candy cane on them. Yeah. Are you guys the candy cane? Also, what the f is all over them? Wait. It's embarrassing now. No, like the magic eraser, embarrassing. My dirty carpet, embarrassing. Having all of these clothes, you wouldn't think would be embarrassing. I but mean, it is. It's definitely a lot of clothing. This is not like, look at me, I have so many clothes. This is like, this is like, look at me, I have too much I'm a hoarder. Also dirty clothes. Also clothes in the laundry. Marie Kondo says you have to do all your clothes in the entire house. Do you watch Gilmore Girls? No, but I hate the way they talk. Okay. Is that how I talk? Yeah. No. Uh. Whoa. Dude, I can't believe you don't have an assistant. That's crazy. Because I was imagining, I was like, the she doesn't want. Hopefully I'll get to go through it. Oh, 100%. And then, then when that's done, who's going to take it to Goodwill? Actually, I leave it in the cable room for my, was it the janitor? Or the super, the maintenance guy? He has a family, so I just leave it for him. What? Wait. That's so sweet. Yo, he's my dude. He got me flowers for Christmas. Wait, that's so fucking nice, Gabs. I mean, not really. I'm sweet. donating it anyways. But like, so sweet. But is it? Yeah. Oh my God, you cannot do this all at once. You cannot get all this. Bet me, bitch. I bet you. The only problem is gonna be... <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> Don't say bet me, bitch, when you're weevil wobbling all over the floor. I love a challenge. <laughs> oh my God. The only problem is gonna be the door... <laughs> oh. The pathway, <laughs> I had to get the hair off my tongue. The pathway to the door is locked. I'm gonna crack the fuck up when I make it there. I, yeah, if you bit, oh my god. My left nipple <laughs> is totally exposed. <laughs> Let me put Wait. my nipple back in. I can't believe you did that. That was a lot. I felt that deep in my chest. That was unbelievable. Tell me I can't do something, I'ma do it. I predict I'm going to break a lot of hangers on accident. Goal would be to get rid of so much that it only fits on the black hangers that I have. I'm gonna sell like 400 black hangers, I think, because I bought like eight sets of 50. Math. Yeah. Oh, 800, right? Or 400? Yeah, so I have quite a bit. Let's get my shit out of here first. This is gonna be really difficult because the hoarding room is such a mess. This is all donations already. So I gotta get this shit out of the way so that I have a walkway. Ooh, I can't wait to get rid of everything in this room. It's just, honestly, first world problems. Honestly. Packages come in too quickly. One girl that I watched just stopped getting PR altogether because she's like, it takes so much of my life up. It's nice, I'm very grateful. That sounds very ungrateful, right? <gasps> huh. Do you have the necklace from the Titanic? Do you want it? No. There's a lot of clothes in here. Sure wish my shopping cart was empty because it would really come in handy. Where's the shopping cart from, Sprout? Taylor helped me move in. Her garage had a bunch of shopping carts in it, pushing all the way from up the street because she lives up the street from me. And she helped me load by load. So I'm gonna get a shopping cart tattooed on me. To remind me of when I moved to LA and had to have my best friend help me move with a shopping cart because I couldn't afford a mover. Remember when I had my super organized, great workout closet that I worked so hard for? That's so cool that you have a workout closet. Well, I don't right now. Okay, oh. I think it's time to let it go. I don't know if I would ever, ever wear that. No, you wouldn't. You know why? Why? It's f***ing disgusting. Oh my god, Irene. Imagine if I was moving now. God bless me for the housing market not crashing yet. Because if I would have had to do this moving, I would have not moved. You know what I would have done? And it would have been really bad. I would have bought the house, would have moved into it, like bought new furniture, but this would be so daunting to me that I would continue to rent this place and keep telling myself, oh, what's another month? What's another month? What's another month? That's crazy. I feel really good getting my life together though. Do normal people regularly throw it away? I don't think so. So why is my life like this? I don't know. This is gonna be the hard section to grab, I think. <laughs> and that's all my vintage still. Oh yeah, you're supposed to do sentimental stuff last, right? Yeah, I mean, la I never throw anything out that was like my dad's or whatever. Maybe we could make a quilt out of the stuff you don't want. I was thinking that with all my t-shirts because I have such a massive t-shirt collection that most of them are just like a sentimental thing like the first time I went to playlists or stuff like that. Oh. I feel like that would be a good video to make a quilt, but I don't know how to sew at all. Like oh, even a little. Oh, that's not hard. You know how to sew? <gasps> We help me make a quilt? Yeah. Do you have to sh stuff it with stuff? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Quilts are real hard to make. <laughs> oh. I feel like once you show me though, like teach me how to sew. Teach me how to sew. Teach me, teach me how to sew. 
Wait, how do you doggy? Somebody actually has to teach me how to doggy again. Oh, jeez. I have a problem. Battery died on a disaster, so I had to drop everything and run. My light set fell onto my squishy setup. Wow, I'm just like sitting in the middle of this filth, filming myself painting squishies. It's not filth, it's clutter. Yeah. Cause it's not dirty. Well, it might be, there might be rats hiding in there, I don't know. We're doing hats and scarves and swimsuits, aren't we? Yeah, dude. Okay. Where did you get all of these drawers that are just out of their thing? No one knows. Honestly, this drawer of shit, I barely reach into. It was my old workout clothes from when I felt like my body wasn't nice enough to deserve nice workout clothes. Me. So I wouldn't buy expensive clothes. So I'm just like, well, I don't look good in them, so I'm gonna buy them. So I just had a bunch of like- Old shirts and Old shit. shirts, yeah. And I used to work out in them all the time, but now I like show up at the gym flexing. So what am I doing with all these old shirts? <laughs> she stays here, we're not going through that. Yeah, no. I'll probably keep all of it forever. <laughs> For sure. Sure. For my great grandkids. Exactly. Oh my god, imagine how vintage they'll be for my great grandkids. Dude, those will be antique at that point. <gasps> they're, I think they're antique now. No, they're from the 20s. Antique has to be 100 years old. Should make that up? No, it's the definition of antique. Deadass? Yeah. Whoa. Yo, I went into a vintage t shirt shop the other day as if I need more clothes. <laughs> I've been aggressively seeking a real vintage queen tee. Oh, sure. Need one. Mm. Walked into one on Melrose, and I was like, do you have a queen t-shirt? And he's like, oh yeah, and it was marked for $75. So I was like, what year is this from? Is this vintage? And he was like, yeah. And I was feeling the shirt. I was like, this feels like tour merch from last year. He was like, no, 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 it's vintage. I was like, I'm pretty sure this design was introduced in the 2000s. And he was just like, I mean, it's from like, like 2005. I was like, that's not vintage, that's just that's old. old. That's used. That's not vintage, kid. Somebody in my assumptions video said you're a fake Queen fan. As if. Right? Dude, I love Queen so much. My first favorite song was Queen. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I'm traveling at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time. Can't wait to get copyrighted by Queen. I wouldn't even care. Queen? You'd be like, sorry, sorry, love you. I'd be like, take it all. Do you want my channel? Ugh. Oh, hell yeah, very good. Fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. Thank you all, but it's been no bed of roses. I'm relating. <laughs> no pleasure cruise. Oh, we should go on a cruise. I consider it a challenge before the whole human race. And I ain't gonna lose! Dude, wait, look at this. I think I was supposed to put it all on my bed and not on the floor for this reason. There was this woman on the show. She made a pile of clothes on her bed. Marie Kondo was like, I think this is the biggest pile I've ever seen. And I was like, <sighs> Dude, I think once I grab these hats and scarves, that's it. Yes! Huh. You have Heelys? Oh, those aren't going anywhere. Imagine right now, if I was carrying these like, <laughs> I'm actually gonna have an anxiety attack. I mean, I would, how could you not? There's more up here. Oh, you know what would be fun? I have a bunch of old merch mock-ups. Like testies? Yeah, I should sign these and give them away. They're literally one of a kind. <laughs> doesn't exist anywhere because it's just a mock-up. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. How are you feeling right now? Right now, I'm like, <laughs> as soon as you're gone and I actually have to like face it, it's gonna be a little rough. How is it feeling seeing everything all in one spot? Well, we ain't there yet. Dude, so many bras, holy crap. I, li I wear three bras. I think every girl only wears three bras. This is like miscellaneous pantyhose. Oh, I have one of those drawers too. But don't need them, don't wear them. If I need them, I'll go buy some. Oh my God, it's gonna be as tall as you. It's falling. I mean, how could it not? It's taller than you. Wait, this is so... Flippin' insane, dude. Holy crapola. I don't know how to handle the situation. Are you settled? Are you moving? Okay, chill. Holy sh Can you imagine anybody not wanting all this? Just me and all my baggage. I'm dead. It's honestly 99% free t-shirts. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't know if we can get it all in one, in one shot. It's falling! Holy sh I'm dead, your waist looks so small. Does it look big? 
It's huge! That's what she said. Okay. Okay, so uh, next step is I have to go through all of this and I don't want to do it tonight because I really want to finish my squishy video, but I have to because sleep. But you have a couch. True, but nothing to wear tomorrow. Mess. Caveman? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, imagine if for the rest of forever it was just like, hmm, this one. Oh, shit. This is gonna be really hard. This part I'm gonna do on my own because it's going to take hours slash days, but I'm low-key gonna try to finish it by tonight. I can do this tonight. Yeah. And I should definitely count how many items I have. Yeah, I wanna I wanna make my guess now. I'm gonna guess you have 738 pieces. 738? Yeah. Let me know in the comments how many you think that I have, because that'll be a fun game. <gasps> and if somebody guesses it exactly, they get one of the signed shirts. Yes, but one of a kind original The Gabby Show merch that the world never saw. Fun! <gasps> Make sure to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, which is also liking, and then also click the button that's subscribe, which is subscribing, and then turn on the bell as well. This is this week's show supper of the week. Thank you so much for all, did you see that? <laughs> Thank you so much for all your support. Make sure to stream and download my music. As always, I love you very much. Thank you for being a part of my family. I'll see you next time. It took me way too long to get dressed and this is what I came up with. This but also, this is the most expensive bougie thing I own. It's like a $250 belt and it's a hand-me-down from a girl at the gym. She's like, do you want this? <laughs> These are my older cousin's, he's a male cousin's jeans. This is a Forever 21 tank top I bought like three years ago. And this is a Target bra. It's a Target bra? Dude, favorite bras. Sponsor me. You try to break my heart, oh that breaks my heart. When do you finally throw out a pair of underwear? Because it takes me a while. Literally never, period underwear. And you know how it becomes period underwear? Because you started your period. Yeah. It's f***ing iconic. I've paid my dues. Time after time. I've done my sentence. But committed no crime. I'm relating. And bad mistakes. Me. I've made a few. Gonna get evicted. I've had my share of sand kicked in my face. But I've come through! We are the champions, my friend. Wait! You're fucking crushing that so hard. And we'll <laughs> keep 